nine. Which of the following nuclei lie within the band of stability? And then we have chlorine 37. Okay, so here I have a picture of the band of stability, which shows your stable um, isotopes and then your unstable ones. The band of stability is the, the blue line that, you know, zigzags all the way up. If you are part of your blue, blue, blue line, you are stable and you are in the band of stability. All of the green is unstable. So you would not be in the band of stability. There are a ton of isotopes that are not in the band of stability. There's only a select flu. flu. <laughs> there are only a select few that are stable. Let's figure out if chlorine 37 is. Now, the first thing we have to figure out is let's just write it out in terms of that notation, right? We got chlorine always... If they write it like this with a number after the name, that's always going to be your atomic mass. And the atomic mass always goes on the top. So we got 37 on the top, but now we don't have a number on the bottom. But keep in mind that the number on the bottom is always the atomic number. And the atomic number is the number of protons. This can be found on the periodic table. All elements have their own unique number of protons. So if I look at my periodic table, which is in front of me, and if you have a periodic table, you should have it out too, but the atomic number for chlorine is always going to be 17. Now, in order to find out whether you're in the band of stability, the easiest way to go about this is to just see how many protons and neutrons you have. Now, in this case, we have 17 protons. And to find out the number of neutrons, remember that your atomic mass is protons plus neutrons. So all you have to do is just subtract the two numbers. So if I take 37 and I minus it from 17, I will get 20. Okay, so we got 17 protons and we got 20 neutrons. Will an atom that has 17 protons and 20 neutrons be stable? Well, the first thing that you should do is check your magic numbers. There's only seven of them, right? 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82, and 126. If either a proton or a neutron have a magic number, it is automatically stable. And in this case, I see I have 20 neutrons. And a magic number is 20. This is the max filled D orbital. That's why these are magic numbers, because they're completely filled. So since I have a 20, that's a really good sign. It's a magic number. So will this lie in the band of stability? Yes, it will. It is a stable isotope. And that's it for this one. Let's color it in, call it a video. What'd you think? I hope this... Uh, this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It just helps us out. And if you want to help us even more, you can become a member to the channel. Got tons of perks for you guys. And yeah, not obligated, not mandatory, but any little bit helps us, which in turn helps you guys out because we'll post more videos. Um, and we'll be doing some cool stuff this school semester. So check us out. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.